Hi there, Laura here, the founder of Get Organized HQ, and I want to talk about cheap, fast, easy things you can do to feel more organized and put together. So these are the things that are going to be really the biggest bang for your time and money buck. The thing I do that would shock you how much different I feel after I do it is I clean my screens. So I have a giant uh, computer screen that I usually sit in front of to work. I also have a laptop screen that I'm sometimes like on the couch with and my phone screen. And here's the deal. Those get really dirty. Like, I don't know if everyone else's do, but they just get really dirty. And your mind almost doesn't even notice because it's happening gradually. And then it literally takes like five minutes to clean. I do recommend that you turn your device off when you clean your screen. I just have a screen cleaner I bought, I think at Sam's Club or Costco, like six years ago and it's still going strong. And then I have lint-free cloths and I just spray the cloth, wipe it down. And it's, it's, it's like I got a new computer because now it's completely clean and it's something for me that I use on an almost daily basis. So it makes a big difference. So that's the first thing you can do to make a difference in feeling put together. Next, and this is another favorite of mine, either wear your favorite outfit or dress up a little bit more than usual. So if you stay in like pajamas or yoga pants, you just don't feel as put together and ready for the day versus if you put on like a nice dress and here, like this dress that I'm wearing now, it is pretty, it's nice, it could go to church, it could go, it could almost go to like a casual wedding, I can go to the store, I can clean around my house, but it's super comfortable. It's just as comfortable as anything else and super easy. So add some earrings, that makes you feel put together and then shoes. If you have your shoes on, you just feel ready to tackle the day. And you know how they say, dress for the job you want, not the job you have? Well, dress for the way you want to feel, not the way you actually feel. So for example, when I get up in the morning and anyone who has been around me within the first hour of getting up knows that I am not a morning person. I feel like trash the first 30 minutes of the morning. I don't want to put any, you know, nice clothes on. I just want to either stay in my pajamas or lounge around in, in like yoga pants, but... That's how I'm feeling at the moment. How I want to feel throughout the day is put together and productive. So if I just put on something nice, put on some earrings, get my shoes on, then I feel ready for the day and I'm so much more productive and happy feeling. Next, something as simple as getting either a new dishcloth or a new sponge or putting out a fresh towel can just make you feel so much more fun. Especially if you use sponges, they can just get icky and drab and a new sponge is like a dollar. So that can make a big difference. This one makes a huge difference. It takes a tiny bit more effort, but costs nothing. And that is freshly washed sheets. So like that feeling of now my bed is made up like perfectly and I can just slide in at night and that have that freshly washed feeling, that can make a big difference. Painting your nails. I find that when I have my nails done, I just automatically feel more put together. It just feels like I'm not looking at these, you know, kind of plain, boring nails. And simply painting them is so cheap. I mean, you can go buy nail polish for $5 and that'll last you several. Uh, you can experiment with other types of nail things like they have press on nails and glue on nails and all different types. You can find what works for you, but that's going to instantly kind of be uplifting. So one thing that helps me feel like I am just one of those people that has it all together is even if I don't wash all my dishes at night, if I take whatever the dish rag and the towel is and I put a fresh one out on top of the sink and lay a fresh towel out, then I feel just like ready to go and like I am on it. And the next morning I wake up to that and it's super easy and makes a big difference. Another one that will make you feel like you are super organized and make your mornings go smoother is to set out your outfit the night before. Bonus if you include everything. So not just the outfit, but whatever jewelry goes with it. And if you wanna get really fancy, and I do this sometimes, especially with my kids, you can plan out outfits for the week, especially when you're doing the laundry. You, I go ahead and I put their outfits together instead of just like having the shirts here and the pants here. And then I put them in their weekly clothes order. So we already 
know what outfits are happening each day. Fresh flowers are another easy way to brighten up a space. Um, there's a lot of stores that will sell like a bouquet for like $5 or if you have any flowers, you know, if it's spring, summer and you have flowers outside, just bring even one single flower in a little small vase can just brighten up your space. So this one might cost a little bit of money, but probably not too much is a new tech case. So like a new phone case, a new laptop cover, because we're using like our phones and our laptops all the time, or even more affordable than that is you like to put stickers, like vinyl stickers on your laptop case or your laptop, just get a new one of those. And that just is something that like adds a little smile to your day. Now in real estate, they always say when you're gonna show your home when you're trying to sell it is that you should have something that was recently baked to have that like fresh homey smell. So anytime you bake something, it just gives it that fresh, homey smell, and that can be really easy and cheap. You don't have to bake like a something super elaborate, just something quick and easy will make it feel really homey. One place that we often overlook is, is a place that we spend a lot of time in, and that is our car. So if your car is junky at all, even a little bit of dust, you're gonna see that all the time. So just taking a few minutes to clean out your car, make sure there's no trash, and just kind of wipe down the interior surfaces is gonna make a huge difference, especially if you haven't cleaned it for a while and then you get in, it has that fresh feeling. And a little tip here is that there are several car washes, especially near us, that offer the vacuum, like the like where you can vacuum the interior of your car for free. So check that out. Even if you don't want to take your whole car through the car wash and pay for that, you might be able to find somewhere where you can vacuum out the interior for free, and that's going to make a big difference. If you have carpet in your home, there is something magical about those vacuum lines that make it look freshly vacuumed. And sometimes even when I don't feel like my carpet is really dirty, I give at least the main area a real quick vacuum. I mean, literally it takes two or three minutes and I have those vacuum lines and then it just feels clean. Now, even if you feel like your home or especially your bedroom is kind of a mess, one thing that instantly makes it feel put together and makes you feel accomplished is making your bed. Some of you might do this every day, but if you don't and you just want to pick me up, go ahead and make your bed. And then I feel like when my bed is made, I put things away better. It just doesn't seem right. You know, like when the bed is all sloppy, it just doesn't, there's, I don't feel odd just tossing something on my dresser, but when it's made, I just feel like I need to put things away. One of the things that makes me feel the most put together all throughout the day is if I start a meal in the morning and I do this with my crock pot and some meals I have are just so easy. It's like I just open a bunch of cans and dump them in. If I'm really on top of it, sometimes I get my crock pot out, put the liner in and I get the cans and the can opener out beside it so that like it's already ready for me to dump everything in in the morning. And then I have started like dinner is done and it's like 8 a.m. And there is just a really cool feeling about that. And you're going to stick with your plan because you've already got it started. And often you can smell it throughout the day. So it just makes me feel really accomplished all day. And sometimes it only takes five to 10 minutes. So most of us know that we should probably menu plan and that that's going to be helpful. But if you don't feel like you can do like a monthly menu plan or even a weekly menu plan, if all I do is plan what I'm going to have that like today, if it's, if it's today or tomorrow or today and tomorrow, that's enough to make me feel more put together. Because if I'm like, okay, it's 11 a.m., I'm starting to get hungry, I'm just gonna have a few leftovers for lunch, and then what are we gonna have for dinner? I have no idea. Once I make a decision, and then I still have time if I need to, to run to the store, or if one of myself and my husband is out running errands, I can say, hey, if you go out today, could you pick up you know, some sour cream from the store? Because that's the one ingredient I don't have. It just makes it easier for you to get. Or one of my favorites is Target Pickup. So especially when it's cold, I... I mean, like here in the Midwest, it can be cold, 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 like windy and like zero degrees. And it is just not fun to even get out of the car and go into the store. But Target Pickup, it's the same price. They'll bring it right out to your car. So then it gives me an hour or two. It usually takes one to two hours that they can get that ready and I can go pick it up. So just deciding what you're going to have for dinner either tonight or tomorrow can make you feel more put together. Now this one can be a little bit more time intensive, but changing up your, your seasonal decor to something fresh, especially something you already have, can just make the home feel like new again. You know, it gives it that fresh look. And for us, we have a mantle. And 
Um, we have a wreath above the mantle. So we just have a wreath for each season. I mean, that just takes a minute or two. And then I might change like the garland or something that's on it. Again, just a minute or two. And the whole space just looks different and fresh. So if you do have that seasonal decor, changing it out can just make the home feel really nice. Especially when you are at home a lot or if you're, you have more of a desk job, just walking outside for even five minutes and getting some fresh air can really kind of change your day because you, we just don't realize how much sometimes we're sitting, we're not getting any fresh air, any sunlight, and just going out. And even when it's fairly cold, I, I won't do this when it's real, real cold, but when it's fairly cold, just put on a coat real quick. I'm not going to be out there long and just get some movement for like five minutes and some fresh air. It really does make a big difference. I really like to change out my desktop wallpapers every month. In the Insiders, we release a monthly pack every month and it includes a desktop wallpaper and it's really beautifully designed and kind of themed with the season. And that gives it a fresh feeling for just like it takes like a minute. Have you heard of the concept of eating your frog? If you haven't, I think it was Benjamin Franklin who said, if you start each day by eating a live frog, everything else in the day will be easier. Of course, we're not actually eating frogs. But the idea is whatever thing that you most dread and put off, if you just get that done, you'll feel amazing. And I don't know about you, but one of the things that I've realized is sometimes I actually go through like my to-do list and I kind of identify the frogs. And probably not 100%, but about 80% of them would take five minutes or less. So I'm dreading things that wouldn't even take me that long. And for me personally, it's I hate making phone calls. Like I hate calling, you know, the beauty shop and making a hair appointment. I don't know why I hate this so much. I just feel like it's awkward. And then I don't know, I just, I just don't like it. And so I put it off, but it would literally take five minutes. And then how I feel is amazing. Like for example, I'm gonna get my hair done. Like I really want it to, I mean, I put it off for six months. Like honestly, it, it's happened. Um, and I just feel amazing. And now I have a time on the, ca on the calendar when I know I'm going to go get my hair done. It may not be hair. It could be a doctor's appointment or another phone call or an email, especially for me, if I need to tell someone no. So I'll have these emails that sit in my inbox and someone invited me to do something. And for whatever reason, I can't do it. And I, and I'm a people pleaser. I, I don't want to tell them no. I'm like, how should I say no? Should I say no? Thank you. Do I need to explain myself? I go to this entire rabbit trail and I stress over it for two weeks when I could have just taken the five minutes to get it done. So if you identify one frog that doesn't take too long that you've been putting off and you do it then as soon as you do it you feel this positive momentum like ah, got that done now I can tackle anything if you're anything like me you have candles sitting there because you don't want to use them up use them up turn it on like burn that candle and fill that your home with that wonderful scent and don't be afraid to use it if you wear makeup, clean your makeup brushes. It takes a few minutes and it's something you use every day and it's actually really important to clean them regularly or they can get some scary stuff in there. And for me, especially with my foundation brush, it's so much softer on my face and feels so much better after I clean it. So take a few minutes to do that. 